Hi, Amit Sharma. Welcome you all to Mathematical Coaching Center. In today's class, we'll do Force and Pressure Part 2. If you haven't gone through with my Part 1, the link is given in the description. By the end of this video, you'll be know some interesting fact about pressure. So without further delay, let's start today's class. Force and Pressure In today's class, we'll mainly deal with the pressure. Force Already we have discussed in our previous video. The link will be given in the description. For the revision, let's what is force? So as you can see, a boy is pushing a box and initially this box is at rest. Now when you push this object, what happens is that the body will come from rest to it will change to motion and the direction will be in this position. But if this same boy, if it wants to pull this, if suppose he is pulling this box, it was in rest, now it will be motion, but the direction of this box will be in this direction. So what you got the idea of the force? So force is nothing, it's either push or pull. And what, he, what happened to the resulting is that it changes the motion and direction. So rest can be changed to motion and motion can be changed to rest. So simple example motion to rest is when you apply a brake in a moving car the car comes at rest so simple force is nothing it's a push and pull action resulting the change of motion and direction now you can see mainly in this class we'll deal with the pressure so what is pressure so you can see if we'll apply a force in this area so that is called as pressure so pressure is nothing it's force upon area so here you can see pressure so pressure is a physical force per unit area so pressure is nothing it's force upon area as we know now you can see our figure so this much area we are applying a force that means this is your pressure and you have to know this larger the area the pressure will be less and smaller the area the pressure will be more so smaller area high pressure low area low pressure so it will be more clear while doing some example now we have SI unit of pressure and this is one of the very important. So the unit of pressure is in SI unit is your Pascal. So you can see here it's your Pascal and it's defined as the Newton per square meter. So as we know, so pressure equals to force upon area. So we know this. Now pressure unit is your Pascal. So pressure will write Pascal and force is your Newton and area is your meter square. Okay, now we'll just put one one everywhere. So the definition of one Pascal. Okay, so one the side also one you can see here one and the side also one Now we can define one Pascal. So one Pascal of pressure is defined as one Newton of force Applied in an area of one meter square. Hope you are clear. What is one Pascal of pressure? One Pascal of pressure is defined as one Newton of force applied in an area of one meter square so you can see pascal so here comes blaise pascal so he was a french mathematician physicist okay so you can see this pascal is the unit is in his name okay so this is my si unit of pressure so here we have example of pressure so as you can see here is a knife so you can you know that what happens is that in this the area is less so area is less means the pressure will be more and in this area is more the pressure will be less so to cut what we need is that we need the more pressure more pressure means we need, we need the less area so as you can see here what is given there so knife so holding a knife to cut a piece of fruit so if you want to cut a fruit you can't cut from up why because the area is more that means the pressure will be less but to cut we need more pressure so to be more pressure it has to be sharpened sharpened means the area will be less so area less means what will happen the pressure will be more so we can cut easily this fruit okay and you can see here we can increase the pressure by reducing the area okay so same thing now we have here why camel can walk easily in desert so as you can see here the camel can walk easily in desert why because you can see here because the camel has white feet so white feet means more area more area means less pressure so their feet 
white feet allows the weight of their body to act as a larger surface of land reducing the pressure and what happens is that we can say that more area less pressure and less area more pressure so that's why the camel can walk easily in desert because they have white feet now we have another so as you know that why vehicle heavy vehicle have wider tires so as you know you have seen the truck what happens that truck carries heavy loads yeah and but when you have noticed this what do you what do you what do you have noticed that the tire is two tires are there at the back so why because the heavy load means the pressure is more so do we have to reduce the pressure by increasing the area so if you put two tires the area will increase area increases means the pressure will decrease so you can see the truck and the bus has a wider tires so more the area lesser the pressure as the area is more the pressure will decrease now what happens is that so there will be a less need of applying more pressure to handle the vehicle so to handle the vehicle it will be easy yeah so that's why to increase the area to reduce the pressure what happens is that they put the more tires and the wider tires now we have here you can see why foundation of building are made broader so you can see a Bruce Khalifa, yeah. It's a very good example. It's the tallest building, yeah. So you can see what happens is that the lower one is broader, yeah, wider, and when it goes up, you can see it's decreasing. Why? Because just know because it's the tallest building, that means it will have more pressure. How we can reduce that pressure? So by just increasing the area. So just we'll make what will make the building foundation building will make the broader one. Okay, so you can see here what you have the foundation of the buildings is generally built wider and broader compared to its wall so that the building does not sink into the ground and capable to handle the pressure with the wide base. So as you know that with the wide base what will happen? So the area will be more area will be more means what will happen? Less pressure will be there. So what happens is that larger large building can prevent high pressure so this way we can prevent the high pressure now we have why skies use flat and long skies so as you can see here we have an skies so you can see here what happened is that in this we have the wider wider this yeah so why it's wider so just know if no if i think so you have been perfect with that more the area less the pressure so you can see the skies are used the skies are skies are used the flat and long skies on snow because the larger the area lesser the pressure hence the sky can easily slide over the snow without sinking his feet in the ground hope you are clear with this so what we learned today over the si unit it's a pascal its name of the place pascal yeah and the more the area lesser the pressure so now let's solve some numerical problem related to pressure so here you can see our question what they are given us a force of 25 newton acts on a body of area is 20 centimeter square calculate the pressure exerted by the body in pascal so we have to find in pascal so it's that means it's we have to find it in si unit okay now force is given area is given and we have to find the pressure so obviously what you'll do in numerical problem is that solution will write given force equals to how much they are given 25 newton so that's an si system area is given in area equals to 20 centimeter square that is given in cgs so we have to change in si so to change in si system you can see here 20 centimeter square is there equals to what you have 20 meter square divided by 100 into 100 why i have done this 100 into 100 now as we know 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter okay so 1 meter equals to how much 100 centimeter that means 1 centimeter equals to what will be this this 100 will go down so 1 by 100 okay so this will be your meter so now why we are writing 200 because there are two centimeter square is there why because we have two centimeter square centimeter square means centimeter into centimeter that means this will come two times 100 into 1 by 100 hope so are clear so there will be meter square so since there was two centimeter square so 
I am writing 200 okay so what will be this so this I can write like this only okay so now this I can change 20 upon 1 1 2 3 4 zeros 2 3 4 zeros okay now we have pressure pressure equals to formula is force upon area so this is the formula equals to force what is the value 25 Newton and what we got just now area is 20 upon 4 zeros yeah 10,000 meter square so this will be a meter square now what we can do as you know that 25 so this Newton into so this is divide divide when you make multiply lower one will go up so this will go up so how many zeros four zeros and this 20 will 20 will come down and this meter square will be lower side okay so this zero zero will get cancelled now two ones are two two five hundred yeah. so now what will be this so now you'll multiply 25 zero is a zero 25 zero is a zero 25 five zero. i think so it's 125 yeah so newton per meter square what is the it will be pascal so p a s c a s pascal so this is my final answer hope you are clear with this now let's solve another question here we have another question what they had said is that a force if acts on an area of so they are given us area 600 centimeter square and produces a pressure of 12500 pascal calculate the magnitude of force so in this we have to find the force so obviously what you'll do we'll write solution and given so solution given area is given area is almost 600 centimeter square so since it's in pascal that means we have to change in si unit so to change in si unit already i have showed you that what happens is that we have to divide by 200 yeah why this because one meter equals to 100 centimeter and this 100 will go down so one one upon 100 meter equals to centimeter so what happens is that we have centimeter square two centimeter squares are there that means we have to divide by 200 okay so i got this now next what they are given pressure equals to one two five zero zero pascal now force we have to find so we know we know the formula for pressure pressure formula is force upon area so now what you'll do is that we have to find the force so this area i'll take that side so divide when i'll take that side what will be it will be div multiply so you can see so area will go that side so it's multiply pressure into area equals to force now force equals to pressure into area now just i'll put the values so you can see here pressure value is one two five zero zero pascal into what you have area is 600 upon 200 meter square okay now let's cancel this this zero zero will get cancelled 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 so what i got just finally i got 125 into six so let's multiply here 125 into 6 so 6 5s are 33 6 to 12 13 14 15 1 6 1 the 6 7 50 so what i what i got so i got 7 50 so force is there so we are finding the force force unit is your newton so this is my final answer hope you are clear with this now let's solve another question so here we have another question they had given us a force of 300 newton while acting on an area area is a produces a pressure 1500 pascal calculate the magnitude of a in centimeter square so in centimeter square means we have find in cj system okay so force is given 300 newton pressure is given 1500 pascal and we have to find the area so obviously we have to do solution given so force equals to how much 300 newton then they had given us pressure pressure is how much 1500 pascal and we have to find the area so we know the formula yeah pressure equals to what is the formula force upon area now since we have to find the area so this area i'll take it that side and this pressure i'll bring it down, down okay so this i'll take it up and this i'll bring it down so what will be so area will go up so pressure will come down so force upon pressure so just we'll put the value okay Hope so you are clear with this area of this down okay so area equals to force upon pressure just we are replacing the plus so the value of force is almost 300 newton and what you have uh, the pascal yeah so pressure is almost 1500 pascal now 
if I'll cancel this 0 0 will get cancelled 0 0 it will cancel so how much 3 1 ja 3 3 5 ja 15 so what I got 1 upon 5 meter square so this I'll get in SI system but we have to change in centimeter square okay so as we know already that we know that 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter so what can I write this as this as I can write 1 by 5 into so meter square means 2 meters are this that means how many centimeter will be 100 centimeter into 100 centimeter okay so this will get cancelled 5 2 is 10 0 so 20 into 100 it will be 2000 centimeter centimeter into centimeter centimeter square so this is my final answer hope so you are clear so because what happens is that this both were in SI system Newton and Pascal so what happens is area also will get in SI system only then after that I have changed in CGS so 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter so I got 200 centimeter square so all different type of numerical problem we have solved hope so this contains are helping you all so please like share and subscribe to our channel